I start talking about hoaxes by the establishment, that's why they want to teach you 2 plus 2 equals 5 in public schools nationwide. Or that a brown bag is racist. Because the globalists are discriminating against all of us signing us on to 1.5 quadrillion in derivatives that they created as a fraud to bankrupt civilization and sign it over to themselves. That's a giant hoax. But if you know how to say 2 plus 2 equals 4, that is freedom. And I'm quoting Eric Blair, a.k.a. George Orwell. Like, can we pull up the actual quote from 1984? Just type in 1984 quote, freedom is the ability to say 2 plus 2 equals 4. And he goes on to say, because if you can do that, if you can reason, and, and if your mind allows you to know that, when BB, Big Brother, is telling you otherwise, you're free. And, of course, O'Brien tortures him for a few months and to the point of uh, Winston can no longer tell 2 plus 2 equals 4. It's like going to an Obama supporter and saying, you know, the Republican leadership with the Democrats wrote this for foreign insurance companies owned by big banks as a foreign direct tax, just like third world countries have to pay money to the IMF and World Bank. This is a direct siphon to them to get $100 trillion in new liquidity off of health care taxes and uh, off of wellhead taxes, money transfer taxes, and carbon taxes. Here is the Davos Switzerland plan. And they just look at you and say, shut up, racist. Because it's much easier to say 2 plus 2 equals 5. And I didn't know that Victor Hugo began to talk about 2 plus 2 equals 4 is freedom, and then Orwell was quoting him. Will you print me that whole page? I didn't know there's an entire Wikipedia page about 2 plus 2 equals 4. I didn't even realize. This is like, so what do they do? The sickest joke in the world. If they can make you sit there and have your children taught 2 plus 2 equals 5, which is official curriculum from sea to shining sea, from sea to shining sea, 2 plus 2 equals 5, and this is the insanity we face. Yeah, you guys just print me the quote from 1984. 2 plus 2, the ability to say 2 plus 2 equals 4 is freedom. There it is. All right, continuing, uh, folks, uh, here with the news. We're, we're looking at hoaxes. We're looking at how do you battle a hoax. What are the big hoaxes and what's your take on Obamacare? And then I've got a bunch of other news as well. And Dick Gregory, the civil rights activist, is going to be joining us to talk about the, the entire waterfront uh, in the third hour. Uh, continuing um, with uh, the entire Obamacare uh, situation. That is now expanding uh, across the country uh, to everyone's uh, horror. And, of course, uh, today was the supposed uh, deadline for folks to be able uh, to do that. Uh, this story is up on Infowars.com and was also carried by DrudgeReport.com. And I'm going to play a clip of it uh, in just a moment. Cops to inspect homes without notice for illegal rentals. And the way this is pushed is, well, it's to stop illegal aliens that are renting illegally. No, ladies and gentlemen, it is to go into your house without a warrant. And there are people, a minority of them, in the comments section defending this as a way to stop crime. Well, you don't just go in someone's house looking for illegal drugs without a warrant. With a oath or affirmation, with a particular person, place, and things to be searched, the reason you're doing it, and that you get to face an accuser. That is the whole issue. And they will find any excuse to do this. Government wants in your house. You don't just randomly show up at the government and say, I'm going to go behind the counter and go see what's going on in your offices. They'd shoot you. But when they want to show up and come look in your house, well, they've got an excuse to do it. Zero tolerance program slammed as attack on property rights. Really? Authorities in Long Island, not public servants, have launched a crackdown on homeowners who rent their houses out to tenants who have not been registered under a zero-tolerance program that will see police conduct home inspections without notice. Yeah, they passed a law a few years ago in Austin. The hotels got it passed, trying to ban people on Craigslist, renting out their apartments or homes 
for uh, ACL or for South by Southwest or other popular events in Austin. And I've never rented my places out, but I'm tempted to do it just all the places I've lived. I've never rented anything out, but I probably should just to thumb my nose at the establishment. I mean, it's not enough we pay property taxes on it. That's feudalism. And this country didn't have until the last 60, 70 years where, where, where your property is not even your property. Now, all over the country, not just in not just in New York, but all over the place, the police are showing up without warrants. And saying, open up, we're going to see who lives here. First time I saw this was in an Illinois town. I forget where. Lister sent us the local newspaper. It was a suburb of Chicago. This is about 15 years ago. And it described the police. You know, the Johnsons woke up at 5 a.m. to have the code enforcement police standing over their bed, telling them to stay in bed, shining a flashlight in their eyes without a warrant, and counting their toothbrushes. The house was only authorized to have two in it under property taxes, but they might have given the Johnsons a fine if they had three toothbrushes. Luckily, they didn't. And they were just reporting it like it was totally normal. Imagine you wake up, they're shining a flashlight in your face without warrants. Uniformed code police. I mean, that's Agenda 21. That's where this whole thing is going. So let's go ahead and play a clip of that. I pay $9,000 a year taxes, and I don't think it's fair. Perry Esposito says the problem of illegal housing is getting worse in his Westbury neighborhood. He says at least two nearby homes have illegal tenants. Someone was living in the garage. No plumbing, no proper heating. They were paying part of that person's mortgage and, and taxes. After multiple complaints from residents like Perry, the village is cracking down with what it calls a new housing enforcement program. The village says there will be zero tolerance for those breaking the law. Among the changes, the village will create a housing enforcement unit and hire two new officers. It'll conduct inspections without notice and increase housing violation fines. It will also raise fees and toughen maintenance rules for homes owned by absentee landlords. It's not targeted to any people in particular. It's just targeted to a situation, which is landlords who are making money by victimizing people in the community and by victimizing the community as a whole. This is about trying to find habitable housing for people so that they can live legally and respect property rights. In the coming days, residents will be receiving these flyers from the village informing them about the specifics with this new housing enforcement program. Perry is hopeful this... Now, again, people can say, hey, this is a way to keep the neighborhood nice. This is how you end up being Nazi Germany. You leave the borders wide open. You got Detroit and a bunch of other cities collapsing. People can barely pay their bills. And now you're going to have Snappin's, quote, inspections without warrants where they're going to come in your house. And I know Austin has now put the code enforcers in uniforms and is arming some of them and are talking about this. And I've just had enough, okay? And that's why they're expanding most police forces into quasi-SWAT teams, because this is just what they're going to do. It's routine now, where they just have you line up against the wall, search all your papers, persons, and effects. If you give them any problem, they'll just fill you full of holes. All of America is being turned into a giant prison. And I guarantee you, this is all going to be selectively enforced. And I don't care if you get some two or three slobs in their city council complaining about their neighbor having too many people living in their house. Because you do that now, there's no Bill of Rights, there's no Fourth Amendment, because someone complains. Again, I bet that those same people that I looked at on the video are big Obama supporters, and I bet they're for open borders. There it is. They just pulled up an article about Austin. Code compliance tracks down on short-term rentals. Austin, Texas. Same deal. And this is all about don't rent your house out during ACL. Or, or during any other big event, because the hotels went and lobbied to have that done. And it's all going to be selectively enforced. It'll probably end up being the different county commissioners and city people that have the, you know, 15 illegals living in the apartment. By the way, I know a lady who manages the biggest apartment complex group in Austin, and she works for one of the biggest companies in the country. And I've told this story many times, and we're going to go to your phone calls. Um, they were called in in Dallas, where the big uh, apartment place is, is, is based, People that know about apartment management will know the company I'm talking about. It's probably the biggest based out of Dallas in the country. And she went with all the managers, it was a couple hundred of them, in this ballroom uh, from all over the country. 
And they were told, listen, we got a deal with the federal government and the Justice Department. We have secretly become 501c, whatever it was, uh, tax exempt. We want to kick citizens out and we want to rent to illegals and let them have unlimited. Unlimited. And this is part of our deal to get the tax exemption. It's a secret deal. You are to throw citizens out. Black, white, Hispanic, we don't care. Asian, doesn't matter. If they have their grandmother visiting for three days, throw them out. We are going to, and these were nice apartments in Austin. They're now literally have chickens running around in the yards. And, 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 and they did this and covertly went to being government housing for illegals. That was actually in the Associated Press 